Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this highlight crystal this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what others notice about your beauty that you don't. Okay, please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. You chose the card Be Spontaneous. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards now. Okay, so for your cards we have Mystery. We have Desire, we have Aphrodite with Inner Goddess, Awaken the Goddess within you through Dawn, Self-Care, and Appreciating Your Divinity. So that's quite interesting. We have the Four of Wands. And then we have an extra little tarot card here with the two of coins, which is the two of pentacles. So I'm just going to put that there for now. Um, we have the ace of wands. We have the three of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Temperance card. We have the Star. We have the Fool card. And lastly, we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, my pile number ones, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what others notice about your beauty that you don't. So I am picking up a very Venusian vibe from you. I mean, you know, in the Be Spontaneous card, we see this woman sitting in this big shell, but then we also have the Aphrodite card here. <laughs> so you must be my pile of people that I always say, it seems like you've been blessed with beauty by Aphrodite herself, the goddess of beauty, love, desire, um, sensuality. It's like you've been blessed by her, maybe metaphorically. <laughs> Or at least that's what people feel like the sense that you've been blessed by the gods with a huge amount of beauty is something I see here or at least that's how people view you. You could have this god goddess quality to you where like people see your beauty and maybe you may not notice this within yourself. Um. Because I feel like you are quite humble, my pile number one, so that you don't shout it out to the world. But this is what people notice about you, that you don't, that you have this very Venusian quality, this goddess, god quality to you, where it's almost like people want to worship your beauty, uh, stare at it all day. I'm hearing work of art. You could be... <laughs> You could be on one of those paintings and everyone would stare at it all day. That is the feeling I get from you. And maybe that's a quality you don't notice within yourself since it's coming up in this reading today of what people notice about your beauty that you don't. But I really feel this energy like you are that work of art, <laughs> God, goddess quality um, with a huge amount of beauty, attractiveness, seductiveness that you don't even realize you hold that high amount of power and beauty within you. Um, it's just like people would, like I said, worship your beauty <laughs> and maybe you don't notice that. So that's what I see there. Um. And you know, Aphrodite, in her essence, her power was her ability to provoke desire in people. And I mean, you even have the desire card. There's something about your beauty that just seems very 
huge in some way that maybe you don't necessarily notice within yourself. Maybe you don't notice how much people desire you, how much people almost like look at you, stare at you, want to worship your beauty. Maybe you don't notice that how like people are just wanting to shoot their shot with you, especially love interests and I'm even feeling friendships, like people have friendship crushes on you and the feeling I get almost is you could walk into a shopping mall or go somewhere and it's almost like people would look at you, stare at you, but you wouldn't notice them staring at you. Maybe someone would stare at you, want to come up to you, ask you for your number, shoot their shot with you since we see this arrow here. Um, but then they get too shy to you and then it's like a mystery to you <laughs> um, and it's something hidden that you don't see within yourself that others notice you know maybe you walk through somewhere and other people notice how much people are staring at you and how much people are desiring you and it's almost like this feeling of like I'm watching I want to talk to this person tell them how beautiful they are Tell them, oh my gosh, I love your dress. I love your makeup. I love the way you did your hair today. I love the way you just look. Your nails look good. Like <laughs> nails there, um, if you can see there. But like, I just feel like people are almost too shy to tell you this. Almost like if they knew. It's almost like they feel like you should already know because of the amount of beauty you have. And... That is something I just see very heavily, like this energy of people just desiring you, but you don't even notice. People staring at you, but you don't even notice. And it's like you're just in your own world, shining like a star. And everyone is noticing this about you. <laughs> and you know, Aphrodite, she was born from the foam of the sea, I think. Some of you could have some kind of connection to the sea, to the ocean. And she's very much associated with love, with beauty, with um, the sacredness of the feminine energies. I guess she's an example of how a woman can be so beautiful that people would worship her. You know what I mean? And I feel like you have that a similar quality within you where people just notice your beauty and she's also associated with roses with shells with you know that that essence of love and that softness and I feel like maybe that's the vibe you give off as well like this very romantic vibe like maybe people look at you and they want to take you out on a date and Things like that, but maybe they're scared you reject them or that you don't like them back. Um, I'm, I'm hearing like people almost think that you are too good to be true or that you uh, are out of their league. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. So maybe that's something people think, but you don't notice within yourself. And I just feel this energy like you're... You're not only very romanticized by people um, in like a loving way, I also feel like people also see you as very seductive, but maybe you don't try to be, maybe you're not noticing it within yourself, but like they're thinking you look seductive in some way, or maybe people are just very attracted to you physically and your body and everything like that. and. That's something I see. <laughs> um, I just feel like people really are really, really attracted to you and you don't often notice it. But in terms of like your beauty, in terms of like physical traits I see here. Um, so I am seeing nails, like some of you have really gorgeous nails and people notice that about you, but maybe you don't see it within yourself even if you don't do expensive like salon nails you know you could just have very pretty nails 
even if you just do nail polish on your own or your nails are a little bit longer and have no color it's like people li like to look at your nails or your hands um that's something i'm seeing i'm seeing your sense of fashion style is like very well perceived by people and people notice your se your sense of fashion and there's, it's like your clothes fit perfectly on you and suit your style suit the way you look it's almost like your clothes accentuate the way you look because i'm noticing within these cards it's like maybe if someone else wore your outfit it wouldn't look the same as you wearing your outfit you get what i mean there's something about the clothes you wear and the way you wear it and the style you wear it in that accentuates your natural beauty whereas if other people were to wear it it wouldn't look the same on them it's like your body type and everything it just accentuates it but maybe also the style of clothes you wear just looks as good on you and is you you get what i mean <laughs> So this is something I'm seeing here. Um, I'm also just seeing the seductive quality, like people lusting over you. <laughs> um, maybe you don't notice that, but people do. And people really like your body, but people also really think your legs are pretty. It's like people like to look at your legs if you ever wear a skirt or dresses or things like that people are very attracted to your legs and also i'm feeling like your face and your smile is very beautiful in some way like i don't know how to explain this but you know when you see someone and their facial structure looks good that's like what i'm seeing <laughs> It's like your facial structure looks good, that it just fits you perfectly. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it correctly, but this is like what others notice about you. Like, your face is just pretty. Um, your smile is pretty. Your smile is very beautiful. Your laughter, the sound of your laughter when you are having fun, you just radiate this glow to you. And, you know, when I'm looking at this Four of Wands picture as she's, like, dipping her feet in the water and having fun, it's, like, this type of energy of you could just be doing your own thing and having fun, smiling, laughing, or just being in your own world. And it's, like, the world just slows down and everyone just stops to stare at you and notices this beauty within you. And it's not, like specific traits i'm picking up on it's your overall beauty like everything just goes well together like everything about you and I i'm just seeing this energy of like you know in movies when someone is doing something and time just slows down and everyone's just noticing this person's beauty and they're just doing something that's natural to them they're not like trying to look good in any way but they just look really good and that's what i feel from you and i almost feel this quality in you as well you know when you're doing something and or you know when you take a video of your friend and they're doing something or a lover and they look so cute and they're just maybe in their normal clothes pajamas maybe their hair isn't done but like they look so cute you know what I mean? And I feel like you have that quality to you as well. Like even when you're not dressed up, even when you're not your best looking, it's like you still look very cute. You still give off this energy of like people almost staring at you and finding beauty within you. That is the feeling I get. Like you're just doing something in your own world and people find it so beautiful to just stare at you also when you're having fun it's like it brings a smile to people's face and I just feel like you have this quality within you that just makes you very romanticized by others um and in terms of like physical qualities like I mentioned I feel like some of your voices are really beautiful that's something um 
that's a quality you have that is really beautiful that you don't notice within yourself but others do because there's this quality that you like when you speak it's like people just want to hear your voice even more uh, you could have a very sexy voice you could have a very sweet voice you could have a very pretty voice but something about your voice people just love to listen to some of you sing and have beautiful singing voices is something I'm seeing as well. Or the way you pronounce your words. I'm hearing some of you have beautiful accents. That's very gorgeous and others notice that but you don't. And I keep being drawn to the lips and smiles and some of you wear lipstick or lip gloss and it looks really good at you good on you <laughs> and others notice this but you don't I'm seeing eye makeup as well like very creative makeup very creative ways of expressing yourself in your fashion style it's like unique to you and only you can pull it off that's something I see as well and I see this free-spirited quality in you this kind of outgoing quality within you that is spontaneous that is fun to be around you know you could just also have this very sexy hot quality to you with the ace of wands here and it's like you just naturally shine within your beauty with the star card there's something about you that just shines out wherever you go it's it's like people notice you and people really just like your vibe and your personality as well this outgoing optimistic spontaneous energy you have you feel so fun to be around is what most people say and what most people notice and it's like they almost fall in love with your vibe not just in a romantic way it's like you know when you have a friend and they do something really cute and then you almost like fall in love with them in a friend way like that's the feeling i get as well it's like people fall in love with your vibe and just your personality and the way you come across and that's something others notice in, within you that you don't like just your outgoing personality your spontaneous fun vibe you feel like a cele celebration to be around and it's just like people love to be around you and uh, your presence is very your presence is very fun to be around and uplifting is something I'm seeing. But you also have this mysterious vibe to you in, in the sense of your beauty is so out there. But you also have this mysterious vibe to you where when people see you in public and they don't know you or when people like just start to get to know you, it's like they want to get to know more about you. You have this mysterious vibe to you that others notice but you don't and it's like you know when you're somewhere and maybe people ask you a question and you know those days where you like don't feel like answering or you don't feel like talking and then like maybe they want to know more about you and like maybe you just tell them as it is you don't go into detail but it's like they want to know more and more and more and more about you and they want to know everything about your life and who you are as a person I, I just feel this immense amount of curiosity people have towards you because your personality and vibe is so outgoing so optimistic so fun to be around uh, and I just feel like you also have this adventurous quality to you that others notice that makes you beautiful that you don't okay I'm also seeing a vibe that often people will want to walk a path with you or be in your circle and um, kind of plan to see you or plan to plan to be your friend plan to be your lover plan to go on a date with you it's like people want to do that but maybe sometimes they're scared because you give off this vibe of just like standing out in your own beautiful unique way that sometimes people feel like you're out of their league and that's something about your beauty others notice in you but you don't you're also someone that is very trustworthy and people notice that within you and find it very beautiful 
a very beautiful quality and trait you have and you're very supportive to be around especially like when people are in their feelings or in their emotions you're very very supportive and something about your voice is soothing or the things you say is very soothing to people and it's like you are someone that is very hopeful even in moments of challenges even in moments of not knowing what to do it's like you're very hopeful and it it's like chaos can be in your environment but you will seem so calm and so grounded and that will make everyone else grounded and calm do you get what I mean and that's something people notice within you that you don't that is really beautiful but I also feel like you are someone that maybe has your own certain type of pain within you but you're kind of like forgiving to those that hurt you or you have this understanding or compassion and you're starting to heal your heart your heart is very open and bright and that's something people notice within you that you don't about your beauty but also how you're always transforming and I feel like people feel like you have this angelic ethereal quality to you as well and that you have the strength within you this emotional strength as you have been healing your heart but I also feel like you are someone that is always achieving great things or you seem to have a future where you achieve great things and that's something people notice about you that you don't but also I feel like people often think about you but you don't realize it like you know like let's say they go home and they just saw you and you were a stranger to them but they think about you and your beauty or like I wonder what that person's life was like I should have asked for their number I should have asked to be their friend and that's something I'm seeing and it's like when you're out and about it's like everyone notices many different things about your beauty not just physical beauty but like your your personality as well it's like many people notice things that maybe you don't and they notice many different things depending on who is seeing you that day and what they actually see in you and I also just feel like you have this way with others that makes them feel very comfortable even if they are anxious and scared or like that kind of energy you know when when someone is like anxious you have this very calming vibe or presence to them that makes them feel safe and that is something people find that is beautiful within you that you don't notice but I also just feel like you have this emotional balance within you that when you are going through challenges you remain strong and grounded even if you don't feel that way inside yourself maybe that's how others notice you to be very calm and grounded and cool go with the flow type of vibe but it I don't know if you actually are like that or if that's just what people see in you but that's what people notice in you that you don't and I'm also seeing here a lot of people when they meet you it's like they feel like the meeting was fated in some way because it's not just your physical beauty but it's also your soul your personality that is so uplifting that often people in the world are very sad and in their own pain that when they're around you they just feel this uplifting vibe that they feel like it was fated in some way so that's what I'm seeing as well or you know when people are attracted to you they just feel like it's fated to meet you you'll often find people saying that you're their soulmates I don't know if you are but that's something I'm seeing um, and people just love your vibe as well I think you have a very healing energy and very calming presence and you're someone that is able to notice little details within others but maybe not within you like that are beautiful but I think others notice these little tiny details in you that maybe you mistaken or not see 
because we don't always see ourselves when we're doing things but the others do so that's something I'm seeing and I'm also seeing an energy that you're the one that got away to a lot of people from your past and that's something people notice about your beauty that you don't because people from your past will still be talking about you two years later and how you're the one that got away and how they regret everything but you're moving on with your life doing you focusing on you and it's like others notice that but you don't that you know exes people are still stuck in you <laughs> you're living in their head rent free but you have moved on and that's also something I'm seeing. So this was your reading, my pile number ones. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose this aquamarine crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what others notice about your beauty that you don't. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching and I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. You chose the card memories. Let's see what shows up for you. Okay, my pile number twos. For your cards, we have feelings. We have shine. We have bold with unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. We have the six of wands. We have the six of coins, which is the six of pentacles. This is an extra little tarot card for you. I'm just going to put this here for now. For your tarot cards, we have the death card. We have the four of cups. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the empress card. We have the sun card. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Moon card. And lastly, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, my pile number twos. Now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what others find a notice about your beauty but you don't okay so spirit is showing me this is my pile of mermaids um mermaids fairies ethereal qualities this is my pile of intuitive people as well and i'm feeling the energies like with this mermaid quality spirit is showing me uh you could have this ability to just lure people in like a mermaid and I guess spirit is showing me it clairvoyantly and that is something people notice about your beauty that you don't because it's like you could just be there looking pretty sitting there looking pretty and it's like people will want to rush towards you and give you some kind of love offer here with the nine of cups uh it's like people will wear their hearts on their sleeve for you and all of a sudden start developing deep feelings for you but you're not even trying to do anything it's just like your beauty is shining so much here with the shine card that you know people instantly develop deep feelings for you and then they want to come towards you in love or in any type of way and it's like you're not even trying to do anything but you almost just bring and attract people in always and you're not even trying to do it and it's just happening and that may happen where you don't actually notice it happen like you know you could be walking out in public and people see you and all of a sudden they have this deep urge to speak to you but maybe they don't or maybe all of a sudden they start to really 
think feelings of love for you but they haven't even met you yet um that is the feeling i get from you my pile twos it's almost like people just fall head over heels in love with you so fast that their brain can't even catch up with what's going on and i don't think you often notice when it happens because i don't think people say it i don't think people necessarily say it to you because it's a little bit weird if someone was to just a stranger was just to come up to you and be like i fall in love with you <laughs> like that kind of energy but i guess this is exactly what i'm seeing um you just have that quality that draws and magnetizes people in and all of a sudden they're feeling extreme deep feeling for you but they don't know why um even in terms of friendship it's like people will feel drawn to you in some way and they won't know why they're feeling drawn to you and it's a strong 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 feeling but i think it's your energy that is so magnetizing towards people i mean you even have the empress card uh, sometimes the Empress card reminds me of this manifestation vibe. I know it doesn't usually mean that, but the Empress can also be the energy of creation because in the usual right away tarot, she is a pregnant woman. So it's the, the representation of the feminine energies and how powerful that creation is. Um, of course, it doesn't literally mean pregnancy, but it can mean that energy of feminine creation, of feminine magnetism, of being able to attract and create the things you desire. And the Empress is also the sensuality energy, but also this Venus energy of drawing people in. You know, when you look at Venus, it's that planet of love. It's the planet of beauty similar to pile one <laughs> but i'm just seeing this energy like you this is the similarity you have to pile one this venusian quality to you that just draws and magnetizes people in but i think it's in a different way than pile one it's it's in a different way where people just have this instant fatal attraction towards you and they don't know why and all of a sudden they have really deep feelings for you but they don't know why you know what spirit is showing me um spirit is showing me brats i can't I, i'm trying to think what movie it was it was the fairy movie of brats <laughs> the pixies movie i'm just trying to see which one it was to make sure okay it was brats fashion pixies right and there was a guy named Dylan in there and then there was another one um, that was more like mean-spirited. I'm not saying you are mean-spirited but I'm just talking about the 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 kind of energy of that attraction. So I, I'm just trying to find her name. What is her name? So her name was Lena. So basically the story was like there was uh, Cymbeline and Lena and they were sisters and it shows the beginning of the movie where they're like fairies and they're sitting with their dad and everything like that and their dad is like the fairy king or something like that and then we have the Bratz girls which is Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin and Jade and I feel this energy here of like you know, in the beginning of the movie, it, it shows them being at school and then Lena comes in and she's the new girl in school and everyone's just drawn to her and everyone's like, oh, she's so beautiful, like that kind of energy. So I'm not saying you are like Lena because she was like, I guess, the villain in that story, but I'm just talking about the way people were attracted to her. And then she walked in and then... Dylan, the guy that is friends with the Bratz um, characters, started crushing on her so deeply. And it was almost like he was under a love spell towards her. And, you know, he was following her everywhere. And she was like, oh, lover boy. And then he would like do things for her out of nowhere. And then the Bratz girls will be like, oh, you're never going to get her as a girlfriend. Like, what are you thinking blah 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 but then he continues like chasing after her like a puppy dog almost and i i don't know how to explain the energy but it's almost like 
he would just do things for her, like carry her books or um, drive to places to do things for her that she wanted him to do. And eventually she became a fashion pixie that was like more on the evil side. And then she, I guess the rest of it doesn't matter. But that's what Spirit is showing me. The way Dylan was like so head over heels in love with her puppy dog energy over her. And he knew that she was out of his league, but she, but he still followed after her like a puppy dog in hopes that he would eventually get her. And the way he was like almost obsessed with her, like in his feelings, it was like he was under some type of love spell. And I'm not feeling like you put love spells on people, but it's the way to describe the energy of how people fall in love with you. It's just like it's out of their control. <laughs> And that is something people notice about your beauty that you don't. It's like others notice how much people almost fall in love with you head over heels, but I don't think you notice it. I think someone could be obsessed with you, almost like that puppy dog energy over you, especially like people that are attracted to you in a romantic sense. And it's like they almost have to calm themselves down because they get so excited to see you and everyone notices this, but you don't. Um, I think you're just kind of like, you know, someone could have a huge crush on you and could be fawning over you and could have the most feelings for you because of this quality you have. And everyone notices it, but maybe you don't because it's, I just feel like you have a very humble energy and you're not actually trying to do this to people. But it's kind of like that energy where I'm hearing it's like you're almost clueless to when people have deep feelings for you because I don't I don't know if you don't notice these qualities within yourself, but I, I don't think it's that. I think it's more the sense of with the Queen of Cups energy, you're a very humble person. I feel like you're very down to earth. Um you're not superficial in any type of way. You're real. I'm hearing the song I'm Real by J-Lo. And there's something about you that gives off this energy of humbleness, of compassion, of love. Uh, you're someone that loves unconditionally. And I don't think you necessarily focus on that like other people do. You get what I mean? That's why you don't necessarily notice when people are falling head over heels in love with you. It's because you don't focus on those things you focus on more better things in your life that are going to actually add to your life you get what I mean <laughs> and usually I feel like this is people that maybe you don't have feelings for or maybe maybe you do have feelings for them but like I almost feel this quality that you don't notice when they have feelings for you and I also sometimes feel like I, I feel like it's sometimes also just strangers that fall in love with you where of course you're not going to be in love with a stranger <laughs> you get what I mean um but some of it is like people you would like but at the same time I, I just feel the energy that maybe for you I feel like you have this down-to-earth energy where you almost want to make sure they're actually loving you for you not just your beauty you know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> but I'm just feeling that energy like I don't think you want people like that that are just going to fall in love with your looks and not with your heart. Because I feel like you do have a very beautiful heart but maybe it's just the physical qualities people notice first, especially strangers. Um, And then I think once people start to get to know you, they start to get to know your heart and how beautiful it is and actually start to fall genuinely in love with you um because I, I just feel like it's almost like this infatuation feeling people get for you and I feel like you feel things on a very deep level that when people subconsciously feel your energy they start to have deep feelings for you but they're actually feeling your energy subconsciously of how deeply you feel things. So someone that is not even, I'm hearing non-committal people will even feel these feelings and then like wonder why they're feeling it so deeply because usually they don't. You get what I mean? 
And I just feel like you just shine in a beautiful way. Wherever you go, it's like people notice you. I'm noticing this this lady here, the Six of Wands. She's getting an award. It looks like she's almost like a celebrity or something. And since it's next to the Shine card, I feel this energy like wherever you go somewhere, it's like people notice your beauty. People notice how much you shine. And it's almost like they're looking at you and they're putting you on a pedestal and it's almost like they're looking at you as if you're a celebrity or as if you're someone famous or well known. Uh, it's just like people put you on this pedestal because you shine so much in your beauty. But I don't think you notice that, but others do. Okay, and I'm also seeing an energy here. Um, a lot of you could change up your style, your aesthetic wear different types of things each day and each day you would pull it off so that's something I'm seeing like let's say today you dress very edgy you could pull that off and then tomorrow maybe you dress very girly in pink and you could still pull that off and I feel like with the bold card you could wear things that are very bold that are very out there or express yourself in very bold out there ways and it's like you could really pull it off whereas others won't. You get what I mean? Um, I'm trying to think of an example. <laughs> okay, uh, last night I was watching like that new series by The Weeknd that The Weeknd made. I only got to the first episode because it was too, it was too much for me. It was too intense. <laughs> because the movie was filled with so much like 18 plus stuff. That I just felt like uncomfortable watching it. But there was the, the main character in that, in that series. Um, that is played by Lily Rose Depp. And she was wearing like this kind of outfit. And they were dancing outside. And she really just pulled off this outfit. Because it was like, it was like a small bikini. And then like, I think it was like... Um, shorts or something she was wearing but like it was fitting tightly to her body and it just looked very good on her and then she was wearing these glasses that it just that the outfit tied together so perfect but it was a bold outfit and I think if I were to wear that I wouldn't look good in it you know what I mean so that is the quality I see in you it's almost like you could wear bold out there things and unleash your adventurous wild side and you could pull it off whereas others maybe wouldn't. And you could shine in it. You get what I mean? And maybe you also have this bold quality in the way you dress. In the way you express yourself. That others notice. And maybe for you it's just you. It's just you expressing yourself. And it's like I wish I could dress like that. And really be confident in myself like that. But in a good way. It's like people look at you like that. And that's something I'm seeing. So it's always like, it's like you're always changing up your style, always changing up the way you do things. Um, maybe some of you, I'm seeing like wigs, maybe some of you wear like different color wigs each day or like you dye your hair a new color each month or you change up your style, your aesthetic. Maybe one day you're wearing one style and then the next day you're wearing another and you pull off both very perfectly in a in a way that most people can't and there's something about you that maybe like even your makeup if you wear different styles of makeup each day or you change up your hairstyle each day it's like you are always changing up your look that's something I'm seeing or maybe with changing up your look maybe you're always glowing up and it's like you get even more beautiful by the day and others notice that but maybe you don't okay and I don't just feel like it's in the sense of your beauty I just feel like you are someone that is always transforming you are someone that is always changing parts of yourself and becoming better and you have this very transformative quality in you that others notice that they find beautiful in you but maybe you don't and there's something about you being on your healing journey and um, I feel like when you feel unsatisfied with life or unsatisfied with certain things in your life you try to change it um, not try to change it you actually consistently try to make change 
in that area of your life where you feel unsatisfied and it's like people notice that within you how you use that unsatisfaction within certain areas of your life and you use that to fuel you towards greater things towards achieving greater things so it's like people notice that you are always achieving something whether it's in your own personal life whether it's in your career in your healing journey I don't know what it is but you're always leveling up always achieving something and that's something people notice within you and find beautiful within you and people feel like you are going to have a bright future with a lot of money with a lot of luxury at least that's what they think um and that's something people notice within you and find beautiful but maybe you don't people al also notice how you love in a very unconditional way the way you love people is a huge type of love. You know, in this Queen of Cups card, we see her almost transfer transferring this love into this cup. So I see that. It's like people notice how generous you are, how loving you are. And when you love, you love on a very deep level. And maybe that's why people start to feel that for you when they meet you. Because they subconsciously feel your heart and how it shines out. And I also feel like that is your strength, your your compassion, your ability to feel things deeply is your strength. It's actually what makes you you and it's your superpower. It makes you, you know what it does? It actually makes you so intuitive because we have it next to the moon. When we can connect to our emotions on a deep level, we can connect to spirits on a deep level because it's the same kind of realm. So you are very powerful in that feminine energy of intuition, attracting things, magnetism, but also that unconditional love type of essence you have. Uh, you're very, you're very, that is your superpowers, like what I'm hearing. And I, I just feel like you're also very nurturing. And sometimes when people meet you, it's like they fall head over heels in love with you. And then they start to think they've had past lives with you or that you're their soulmate in some way. I don't know if you are, <laughs> but that's what they start to think. And I'm also seeing you feel like home to a lot of people. You have a very peaceful vibe that people find beautiful within you and notice within you that maybe you don't notice within yourself. Um, I'm also hearing some of you have an amazing way of doing things very effortlessly. And that's something I'm noticing too. It's like you do things very effortlessly and people wonder how you are so talented and skilled at certain things. I'm feeling like some of you could be great actors or creative in some way. Some of you are creative in some way and it's like your creativity, people find find it to be very beautiful but maybe you don't notice it within yourself. Maybe some of you also have beautiful singing voices because we spoke about mermaid energy and I also feel like you just have the sunshine vibe to you. You just shine out like the sun. You bring joy to others. And it's like you're such a joy to be around. But you also have this magical personality to you. This very intuitive vibe. And you know the right things to say to people. And that's something people find beautiful within you. And they notice but maybe you don't notice within yourself. And I just feel like you also have a very healing energy. You're very patient. Um, you're very kind. You're seen as a guide to most people because you know the right things to say to get them out of that feeling of stuckness. It's like when you love, you love hard. And um, people also feel like you're someone that is very calming. You have this calming, healing effect on people. And people also think that you have a great purpose in this lifetime and they see that to be very beautiful. They see you to be very sweet, very pleasurable to be around, very joyful to be around. And that's something they find beautiful and notice within you that maybe you don't. And I also feel like you have this nurturing yet childlike quality to you. And I don't mean childlike in a bad way. I just mean it in a way of like you bring people's inner childs out. 
and especially like people that aren't like having fun in their daily lives it's like you bring that quality out in people I feel like you could I feel like you could start and do something fun and then others would join in with you even if they don't necessarily do those things and that's a trait people find beautiful in you that they notice but you don't and I also feel like people often have crushes on you but also friendship crushes and they love your go with the flow type of vibe your patient sweet um calming vibe calming presence you have it's like people also find your vibe your energy to be very beautiful and people notice the way you make decisions and the way you patiently sit on it and you use your intuition and people just find that so profound and your generosity and that's something people really notice within you. Um, but maybe you don't notice within yourself and they find it to be very beautiful. And I also feel like you have this inner strength within you. Because I feel like you've been through some challenges in life. But you haven't let that get you down. You know what I mean? And that's something I see here as well. And also with the memories card, it's like often people will think of you. But maybe you don't know they're thinking of you after they see you or after a while. It's like people still think of you in their memory. And like, let's say, for example, you go somewhere and it's like people think of you because you have that effect on them after you leave where they're still you're still in their memory or like let's say people from your past they still have you in their memories and it's like they find the memories with you to be beautiful the way you talk the way you do things and they just they just think back to those memories of maybe the way you smiled maybe the way you said certain things the words you said it's like they have that in their memory and they replay it in their mind and they find those things that maybe you did or those qualities in you to be so beautiful but maybe you did, don't notice in yourself because you know we're not always watching ourselves but others maybe notice things in us we don't notice like cute things we do and I don't feel like it's just people from your past I feel like you have that effect on people even strangers to just think of you in their memories and like yeah it's like you are often on people's mind and they go back to their memory of you and like certain things you did and they find it to be so beautiful and they notice things within you that maybe you don't like the way you smile the way maybe you touch your hair or like the way you speak I don't know something about that so this is what I see in your reading my pile number twos um yeah, I didn't really get any physical traits, but I feel like it's more so your vibe and your essence. You know, you do have a lot of physical beauty to you, but I don't think f uh, Spirit wants me to focus too much on that for you. It's like a an all-rounded energy that people find beautiful in you, not just physical beauty, you know what I mean? And this is what I see in your reading. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pal number threes. If you chose this goldstone crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what others notice about your beauty that you don't. Okay, so you chose the card Abundance. Please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. Let's see what shows up for you today. Okay, my pile number threes, for your cards, we have Dreaming. We have Celestial Alignment. We have Bossed with Independence. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. We have the Two of Cups. We have an extra little tarot card with the Queen of 
wands. I'm just going to put that here now. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Magician. And lastly, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, my pile number three is now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what others notice about your beauty that you don't. So as I start off your reading, after laying out your cards, I'm hearing an airplane fi fly by. So that lets me know into some of this reading, like what I'm seeing here about the themes, which I will get into in a moment. Um, I kind of see this quality you have to be very, very dreamy in your essence and your beauty. It's like people find you to be very dreamy, very heavenly like here because she's on top of these clouds and it's like people find you and notice your beauty to be very ethereal in some way, very heavenly in some way. It's like you know in movies when you see someone walk in and then there's just like angels harmonizing to them that is the feeling people get when they look at you that you have this very ethereal heavenly dreamy quality to you in your beauty and that's what others notice about your beauty that you don't it's like people's jaws just drop when they see this about you because i don't think you can find your qualities in many people and I'm just seeing that I don't think you find many people that have this dreamy ethereal essence and it's very unique to you. Um, Spirit is also showing me painting like painting on a canvas. Some of you are creative in some way and people find that to be very beautiful or you are just creative in the way you express yourself. Or you create your reality here with the Magician card. So if you are creative, people find your art style to be very beautiful. Or they notice little things about the details you put into it. Um, where you really put your heart and your soul into it. And then they notice those things about it. And I, I feel like people would want to buy your art. People would want to buy that. That's something I'm seeing here. And pay big money for that. Some of you... I'm seeing you have amazing sense of fashion style because here in the Queen of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, I'm just noticing their fashion style and it looks so on point. And also your makeup style because I'm looking at both of these women here. Their makeup looks gorgeous and on point. There's something about the way you do your makeup, the way you do your hair, the way you express yourself in fashion. Some of you I'm hearing like you are creative in your fashion style. And it's like you think of things to put together that no one would think of. And you just pull off the clothes you wear very well. And I think you could wear different styles of things and still pull it off in a very beautiful way. And that's something people notice about you that you don't. Like maybe you wear something specific and it's like people will start to see, oh, I can see why they wore that dress with those shoes. It actually looks so good. I would have never thought of wearing it like that, but that looks so good. And like feel the sense of inspiration from you. Some of you have uh, social media accounts where people really would enjoy to, or people really enjoy to see the way you dress, to see the way you look. 
Um, some of you have TikTok or Instagram and you post on there like your fashion or your beauty or something like that and people notice that within you. Um, that's something I'm seeing. I'm hearing some of you have this model quality to you where like clothes and fashion just looks good on you. Like you pull it off in a way that makes it very that makes it look very luxurious even if you're not wearing something expensive and I literally feel like fashion style companies would literally pay you to wear their clothes that is the energy I feel from you or maybe this is what people think of you people think that you have this very model quality to you that you don't notice in yourself um I think with the Eight of Swords showing up, a lot of the things I'm going to mention are things you maybe don't notice in yourself um, because we see her with a blindfold tied up. So it's it's things you haven't noticed yet. Um, but I'm seeing this very clearly, like people really enjoy looking at you and the way you express yourself. Um, Spirit is showing me the peacock. You stand out like the peacock because when you think of the peacock, it lets its feathers out and everyone's just so mesmerized by all the colors and how the peacock looks. And I feel like that's you in some way with your beauty. It's like you just stand out with everything you do, with everything you wear. And I feel like you could wear different styles of aesthetics and really pull it off and have different types of things that look good on you and... I feel like certain colors look good on you, but you can pull off many colors. Uh, certain fashion styles look really good on you, but you could pull off many styles. And that is the energy I see here, especially like with your fashion. People really just love to look at the way you express yourself, even the way you do your hair, the way you do your makeup. It's like people really fawn over that is something I'm hearing from spirit and find you really dreamy to look at. It's like people love to daydream about you or just look at you, stare at you. And that's the feeling I get, you know, um, when you are like spirit is showing me when you're with someone and they're so beautiful and you know, they're talking and you're just staring at them and you're admiring their beauty, but maybe they don't notice you're admiring their beauty and they're just talking and being themselves, but you're just so awestruck by their beauty. That's the feeling I get of how people look at you, but maybe you don't notice it and how they look at you and they see you to be very confident. Maybe you don't feel confident that much, but like it's like they see you to be very confident in yourself and I'm hearing Bow Down uh, by Beyonce. So you have this quality like Beyonce of just standing out of people almost like putting you on this pedestal, wanting to bow down to you in some way. Like people literally put you on a pedestal, but you don't notice it um, because your beauty just shines out so much. But I also feel like your heart, your heart is really beautiful. Um, you have this very rich essence and quality to you in your heart like you are a very generous loving person and uh, that's something people notice within you but it's like your heart just shines out with love as I'm seeing here like her heart shining out and everything you do is with like this pizzazz is something I'm hearing from spirit everything you do people notice and people look up to it in a way and it's like, it's almost like people look at you and find inspiration from the things you wear, from the things you do. And then they start to almost like mimic you, if that makes sense. And maybe you're not even trying to do things a certain way to look good, but it's like you do it effortlessly. And that's something I'm seeing. Um, You know, this Queen of Pentacles energy is reminding me of those days where people would like paint a painting of a woman and then she'd sit there look pretty and then they paint her I always feel like people look at you and they they find you to be very photogenic or they find you to be very good looking in the sense that like they want to paint you like you look like a work of art or something like that 
Like someone could just stare at you all day and find you to be so beautiful to just stare at. So you don't even have to do anything. You just sit there and look pretty is something I'm seeing from spirit. But you also don't notice how many people are actually, you know, falling in love with you, with your beauty. <laughs> or attracted to you in some way with the two of cups. It's like maybe people see you and they find you to be so beautiful. But they want to ask you out on a date or something like that. But sometimes they feel stuck here with the eight of swords. Maybe they feel like you won't like them. Or like you'd reject them or something like that. Like they feel like you're out of their league. Because like I said, people naturally put you on this pedestal and feel like you're out of their league in some way. Or like you wouldn't like them. And often people are attracted to you but don't say anything. Because they also feel like maybe you have a lot of love offers coming in here with the five of wands. It's like they don't want to... I don't think they want to fight to have you. It's like that type of energy almost like, oh, they probably have a lot of people going after them. What good is it me like asking them out on a date? Nah, like they're so beautiful, but they probably wouldn't like me. Like that type of energy is what I see here. Um, or you could literally have many people liking you at once, almost trying to compete with you. And maybe you don't notice it. Because I feel this feeling here like... Um, Spirit is showing me iCarly. <laughs> um, there's a new series out of like iCarly. And there was one episode where... Um, iCarly and the guy, the guy she's with that is a friend. And then he has like a new girlfriend or something like that. But like they're both competing for him at the same time. But he doesn't notice it. Do you know what I mean? And that type of energy just as an example. Um, it's like they're both trying to almost stand out to have him choose them. But like he doesn't notice that. And I feel like that's almost you. Like you have many people maybe liking you at once. I'm hearing like... Maybe, you know, within a friend group, you know, you go somewhere and you meet a few people and you are expecting to be friends with them. And then both friends like you at the same time. And then they're like, um, no, uh, they're mine. Like, I, I call dibs on them. That's what I'm hearing. And like, they're mine. But no, I saw them first. But no, I saw them first. And I spoke to them first. And they actually like me. And they don't like you. And like that type of energy of almost competing over you. But you don't notice it. And I also feel like you could be somewhere and just walking around. And people will notice you. You're just like kind of like focusing on you. Maybe going grocery shopping, focusing on what you're going to eat for dinner. But like everyone's staring at you and noticing you, but maybe you don't notice them staring at you. Like you could be in your own world and everyone's looking in awe. Their jaws have dropped for you. And yeah, I just feel this immense amount of beauty you have, this immense amount of dreamy qualities. You shine. I mean, you pick this gold stone crystal. And it's so shiny. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But I literally feel like you just shine. Um, you have this abundant quality to you. And I feel like you are my pile of people that are expensive like a diamond. And everyone can see you're a diamond. Um, but maybe like the pebbles are looking at you and seeing you're the diamond, but you don't notice you're the diamond. You know what I mean? I just feel like you have that quality to you. Like I'm hearing a uh, treasure by Bruno Mars. So people see your heart to be like a treasure that they are about to find. And I'm looking at this treasure chest here and it's like, you know in those movies when those pirates try to find the treasure and they're all fighting for the treasure and they're like doing this competition type of vibe like I want this treasure no I want this treasure like that's almost the feeling I get from you like everyone wants this treasure but it's hard to find and you know 
I feel like you may also be my pile of beautiful butterflies that everyone wants to catch but no one can have and like that's the type of vibe or essence I feel from you like everyone wants this treasure everyone wants to find this treasure first um, because it's so valuable to them in some way and I feel like you are like that like your heart is like a treasure and people find you to be very valuable in some way to them and I also think you don't notice how many people are just like interested in you in, in terms of like a romantic way but maybe you also don't notice how sometimes people will like almost like compete with you if like they're scared that their partner will like you or you, you know that type of energy or like let's say you have certain people that are acquaintances and you meet them and they just notice you standing out so much and now I'm seeing the peacock image again and let's say they are spirit showing me a meerkat <laughs> let's say they're just meerkats but here's this peacock um, with its feathers standing out and this peacock doesn't notice that this meerkat is literally so jealous of this peacock but the peacock is just shining regardless you know what I mean and that's something I see as well um, I'm hearing like if looks could kill it's almost like people look at you seeing you shine seeing you stand out seeing you be so beautiful and then they're like almost shooting daggers at you because of jealousy so that's also something you don't notice how some people will be jealous of you because of how much you stand out so I just say discern because I feel like some of you are very intuitive I feel like you're very empathic and you can feel people's feelings and I want you to know that I feel like maybe some of you think it's just anxiety like oh I'm just being anxious but I think you're literally feeling the energy sometimes like them being intimidated by you because of this amount of you just standing out but I don't think you notice it and that's really beautiful because I feel like you are really down to earth people and your heart is the most beautiful treasure ever that's something I'm seeing it's like your heart shines out that it makes you just stand out and those people that are jealous of you aren't in their heart space and you know how they say someone can be beautiful but have the most ugly heart I feel like that's some people that are jealous of you's energy and it's like people notice that within them that's why they're not drawn to them or attracted to them but then they're almost trying to compete with you but it's it's just making them less liked you know what I mean it's almost like the more they do that the more people dislike them and they don't realize that as well <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just feel like sometimes you're out in places and maybe you notice someone being a little bit off with you and maybe you think it's your own, you're being in your own head and it's your own anxiety, but no, I think it's people literally being intimidated by you because I think you're very empathic souls, you can feel energies and you are very intuitive so when you feel that trust your intuition trust what you're feeling my pile number threes and I think with a gift of feeling energies it can be very hard to differentiate between our own feelings and feeling the energies so I would recommend trying to differentiate between your own feelings and others but I think most of the time you're very intuitive you can feel when others have bad intentions towards you and like I said you're just seen as very heavenly ethereal dreamy and I think people kind of get lost in your eyes I think for a lot of you your fashion style like I said um, the way you do your makeup your hair it's like I think people are very attracted to your hair doesn't matter how your hair looks people are just very attracted to your hair because we see many different hairstyles here you give me princess vibe. <laughs> um, even if it doesn't relate to gender, but I just feel that energy. <laughs> um, but in terms of the other things here I'm seeing. Oh, and also like some things you wear look li really luxurious on you. 
So I saw creativity and I'm seeing it again. Like I think people really find you to be very creative. Maybe you don't notice that within yourself. And I also feel like you make those around you feel safe with your presence because you just have a very calming, heavenly presence. And now I'm hearing another airplane fly by. Is that not a synchronicity? Like for real, for real? But I'll get into that in a moment. I'm just like going with the flow here of what I see. Um, I just see a lot of people would be grateful to have you in their life. It's like people dream to have a partner like you or a lover like you or a friend like you. And it's like they literally pray for that. And that's something you don't realize. But I also feel like you're someone that has a very nurturing compassionate energy to you you're very giving to those you love and that's something people notice as beautiful within you because you have a beautiful heart and it's like people could be feeling very deep emotions but you'd be there and you'd listen to them and you'd give them the most love the most time the most attention and you'd say the, the words of wisdom by feeling their feelings and it's like you'd say the exact right things to them that they need to hear and that's something that people find very beautiful in you. People also think that you love yourself a lot but maybe you don't notice that, that people think that. People are also really drawn to your free spirited vibe because I feel like you have this free spirit energy to you. Um, very carefree, very free type of energy as well. And you make those around you feel free. And I'm also seeing an energy here. Like you are a very joyful soul to have around. Um, people see you as the life of the party. People really enjoy your presence. People find joy to be around you. And maybe that's something you don't notice. Maybe you'd hear this and say no. But like this is how people see you. People really just find your presence to be so fun to be around. Um, and they find you to be the life of the party. They find you to be such a joy to be around, so fun to be around. People may even find you funny and things like that, but maybe you don't feel that way about yourself. Okay. And I'm, all, I'm also feeling like you're always rebirthing yourself. You're always transforming. You have this immense power to you that you don't really notice. And I'm feeling like you're almost like that lion. And you don't notice that you're the lion, but like um, hyenas are looking at you, wishing they could be a lion too. It's telling everyone they're a lion, but everyone sees you're the lion, but you don't have to claim out that you're the lion. You get what I mean? <laughs> um, so you have this immense power within you that you don't realize you have. And... I feel like a lot of people are just attracted to that, but some people are also intimidated by that. And I also feel like people have friendship crushes on you. Like sometimes people just feel like it's fated to meet you in some way. And uh, people also see you to be very lucky, but maybe you don't notice that within yourself. Or maybe you're not lucky because I feel like you are very hardworking and yeah, I just also feel like people find you to be very truthful, um, very honest and have a very relaxed presence as well. You make those around you feel relaxed and they find that to be very beautiful. But you also have this heightened awareness for these spiritual energies. And it's like you say things without realizing that are so intuitive that people notice but maybe they don't say to you like let's say you just start talking to someone and you're like oh I feel like you'd be a really good dancer and then they were thinking of being a dancer but they don't tell you that and then you just confirm that for them you get what I mean so that's something people notice is beautiful within you but you don't and I think people just recognize you wherever you go to be like that energy of standing out, like the peacock energy I mentioned earlier. People also find you to have a very adventurous vibe, very carefree, very optimistic, and they find that beautiful in you, but you don't notice it. And 
I think they also find you to have they think they think that you have a very big purpose and that a lot of doors are going to open for you in your life as well is something I'm seeing and people also find you to be beautiful in the fact that you're very fair and non-judgmental and you're very you're very fair and balanced and harmonic. It's like you wouldn't do things that are unfair to people and that's something people find beautiful within you. But you're also maybe someone that honors yourself, honors your own emotions, how you're feeling, your energy levels. Like let's say today you're tired. You're not going to force yourself to do something and people find that beautiful in you because it's like, most people just force themselves to do things they don't necessarily like and people find you to have a lot of self-love, a lot of self-worth and even the fact that you're comfortable with your emotions, a lot of people aren't and you are and that's something people find very beautiful within you and people find your heart to be beautiful because you love people from a very true love type of sense is something I'm seeing as well. Um, I'm also seeing that you are someone that makes choices with your intuition and people find that to be very beautiful and notice that about you but maybe you don't. Like you just trust your intuition and that's something people notice in you. And maybe some people are scared to trust their intuition or scared to be wrong, but you're not. That's something I'm seeing. And I just feel like you also have this grounded, down-to-earth presence that people admire in you, but maybe you don't notice. I also feel like you're a very hard worker. When you want something, you are really going to go after it. And sometimes when you feel disappointed in life, like not really liking the way life is going. It's like you use that to feel you towards more. You use that almost like that. How do I put this in words? Spirit is showing me an interview I watched the other day. I think it was someone inter interviewing Scar Lord or something like that. I can't remember his name. But then he was talking about like how I think he's a musician and he was talking about how he was like behind on rent and he was a musician and everything and he wasn't sure if he was even going to make it but he was using that to feel him towards success that almost like failure energy but not really failure energy like he was using that dissatisfaction to to kind of feel him towards success and working even harder and that's a quality I see you have that others notice in you and find very beautiful but maybe don't say and I feel like you are also someone that puts in a lot of effort towards those you love and just to people in general you give a lot of your energy and time and love and patience and that's a quality people notice in you but don't necessarily um, maybe you don't necessarily notice that and they find it to be very beautiful. Um, but people also find you to be very passionate about the things you're focusing your intention on and everything you focus on becomes yours. And that's something people notice in you when you really focus on something you want to do. You create that reality, even if it seems very even if it seems very unlikely in the physical because the magician is next to the four of pentacles four of pentacles talks about saving so for example let's say going back to that example of that man that was like behind on rent but he just wanted to make it as a musician if he had gotten a job somewhere and taken the easy way out maybe he would have never gotten the success he got now you know what I mean and even when you can't see a physical result yet you are determined to create that of what you want to create and people find that to be a very beautiful quality in you and just your playful vibe people find you to be very playful very fun to be around uh, very confident and courageous and they see those qualities in you that maybe you don't notice within yourself and you know when I heard the plane planes represent movement I heard the plane twice 
So it really seems like you are having some type of fast paced movement towards your dreams and where you want to go. And it's like people notice you really putting in the effort and time towards that. And um, it's like people see you dreaming big and they notice you are going to have a lot of movement in your life, but maybe you don't notice it yourself. And they find that to be very beautiful because they see you going to great places and it's like with the plane it reminds me of like shooting for the stars and like hoping you win you know what I mean and it's like people see that dreamer quality within you and they find it to be very beautiful because it takes a lot of courage to go out there and try to create your dreams to come true I'm also seeing a vibe that people just want to spoil you with the king of pentacles and the six of pentacles it's like especially love interests it's like people just want to spoil you but maybe you don't notice that like let's say um someone says um i want to take you out for dinner at this place and it's a really expensive restaurant and like maybe you are someone that has that independence that you don't mind paying for yourself that you don't mind having that independence yourself but like maybe they just really want to spoil you and pay like a thousand dollars for your meal because they just really want to make you feel special and then you're like no it's okay we can go somewhere else but then they're like they really want to spoil you and give to you and that is the feeling I get from you and it's not just in terms of money I think you don't notice how much people just want to give to you because you're such a giver it's like you don't notice how much they want to give to you in return so this is what I see in your reading my pile number threes I really enjoyed doing your reading to you such beautiful messages came out I really hope that this resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye